this alone Even though I am strong Need something more than me Someone to push me to me free Let's see what we can do Together me and you Can't be afraid to try Kiss your fears goodbye No looking back You and I were on the attack Falls me ahead Running down the sand Ooh, Such a different feeling Both of us be leaving We can make it better Together we You know, I almost like these, like, new clothes that Lulpit gave us. Yeah. Like, the red almost matches my style. Yeah, besides, sis, do you think these jeans make my butt look big? Bro, your ass has always been big. Hmm. <laughs> and not big enough to get the boys' attention, don't you think? Bro, shut up. Lulpit, you've been staring at them for, like, hours now. What gives? What gives what? You've been treating those two more like guests rather than prisoners. Look, they're just kids and all, and... And... They need my help. Well, by the looks of it, they don't. Yes, on the outside they don't, but... The inside, they... Do need my help. Like... They're not, like... Saying that they need my help, they... But I could just sense that they're crying... For help. I could just sense it. Who knows what kind of inhumane tests and experiments that they went through. How much pain and suffering Springtrap made them go through. Lloyd, I want you to tell Steph and Cass for permission to open the gate. Um, but why? I just like to talk to them, okay? Alright, I'll tell them to open the gate to cell one. Alright. So, Lulbit, this is what we get, to be a hostage yet again. Once again, prisoners. So, what do you suppose your little freedom fighting pals are going to do with us? Are you guys going to turn us into lab rats and continue experimenting on us just like Springtrap had? Is that what you're going to do with us? Or, you're going to dissect us? and take us apart for scraps. Is that what you're going to do with us? Is that what you're going to do with us? Treat us as tools? Oh, bit. you convinced me to betray Springtrap because you said that he was treating us as if we were tools. And you were right. Do you still hold that belief? Look, kid, I don't know why you tried to do that, like what you did back then there. But, I just want to talk with you about that. Like, why would you want to do that? It's none of your business. You seriously tried to kill yourself. Look kid, just talk to me about anything. Look at you, Suke. You have your whole life ahead of you. You're 16. You have a long road and a long happy life to live. Why would you just decide to take that all away from yourself? Why? Tell me your pain. Tell me what you went through. <sighs> Fine. But you won't understand any of it. You won't. Look, I'll understand what you've going through. I'll understand what you went through. I was like you once. So go ahead. Tell me your pain. Over three years ago, 
when Xiao Fei was rampaging through the town. And just as he is about to throw a car at me, my sister, and my fa parents, you came. And you saved us. You saved our lives. You saved my life. And ever since then, I was your biggest fan. I even jokingly told my sister that I had a crush on you. But that all ended a year later. My parents were able to save enough money to take me and my sister on vacation. As we wore a lesson, a little have a little low income. When we went on our vacation, a little road trip to Foxy Harbor, something happened that changed my perspective on you. As that, that day was also the same day where Tiblal would test his cannon powered by the Undying Light. And he tested it on, it on Foxy Harbor, right where we were. But luckily my sister and I were far away from there, as we had decided to go for a walk that day. And just as we were far away from the hotel room, we saw what was going to happen. The beam from the pow cannon that was powered by the Undying Light, it hit Foxy Harbor directly and the entire city blew up. I thought I was gonna die. So I ran in front of my sister trying to shield her. And then, everything was silent. I would soon find out that our parents were some of the many casualties. Me and my sister were later put in an orphanage because our surviving family wouldn't want to take us. But there at the orphanage, I made a very dangerous discovery that ultimately changed my perspective on you. Of how you let it Tiblo go. Let it our parents kill her go. Like he is in charge. He is brought to justice. You just let him go. First, you didn't weren't there to save our parents, and then you let our parents kill a go. Help it. You were better than that. I knew you were better than that. Well, you see why I did that? Cause, because he helped me fight against Armagallum. And I would let him go because I knew for a fact that I would run to him again. And then that time, I would capture him. But I didn't the next time and... I only did the, the second time, but still. So if you had the power and opportunity to just kill him, just like you did with Armagollum, why didn't you? Why didn't you kill him? Right there, right now. Look guys, Armagollum was going to destroy the world, and I don't want to waste the time and energy just killing Tibble all and all, but you could've. You could have killed him and avenged all those who died in Foxy Harbor. You could have, and yet you didn't. You just let a mass murdering lunatic go free of charge. I must ask you, how many lives have to die? How many people have to suffer just so you can realize that none of this is okay? Where we'd actually find these mass murdering criminals. Where we'd actually find these supervillains and give them what they deserve. Damn. Holy crap. Eh, am I the asshole? Yes, Lulpit. Yes, you are. Wow. Huh. I actually never thought of that. You think? You think? But hold on, what happened after your parents died and you guys went to the orphanage? You see, after that, we really have taken into a lovely family. Well, not actually a lovely family. 
our adopted mother Leia left our adopted father because of his alcohol problem. But she left us with him. The abusive, domestic abuse drunk that he is. And whenever me or my sister did anything wrong around him, oh ho, he would beat us. But I wouldn't let him light a finger on my sister. So, you know what? I received all the beatings, every single blow, and I had scars on my back for when he would hit me. The nightmare would later end. You see, when he was drunk one time and I did something wrong around him, he took the bottle and bashed me over the head with it. But the bottle actually broke and it cut my forehead right open. That fat drunk would later be taken to jail for, for child abuse and I had to get stitches into my head. And me and my sister were later sent back to the orphanage. We feared that we would one day get another day would get adopted by another broken couple with an abusive parent. So we just decided to run away. To run away from the orphanage. And that day we lived on the streets. And I would spend the living stealing from convenience stores just to survive. But soon, one day, since my sister had a, a, was born with a weak immune system, she would end up catching tuberculosis. And it got so bad to the point where she couldn't even stand. Yeah, and I remember that. I was sweating and I couldn't breathe. Every time I tried to take a breath out, just cough. Yeah, I felt totally like shit. Yeah, so I had to steal medicine, just hoping that she would get better one day. Well, I guess you could say she didn't. But until one day, we were approached by a man claiming to be called Dave Miller. You see, he took the both of us to what I think is was his lab. He took us to this warehouse where I don't know what happened after that. It, like I can't tell you, but it's just too much for me to bear. Huh. So. So we are like quite alike. Like for the first like 12 years of my life, like, like the first 10 years on earth, I was poor and poor is all I knew. I didn't know what a job was and, and I would just spend my days just watching Donut Lord and Pretzel Lady. Donut Lord? Pretzel Lady? Yeah, they are my given names for Spring Bonnie and Fred Bear. Back when... <sighs> but they're both gone now. And yet... I'm still here and... Just in less than 15 years, the first ever real family that I, that I had was gone. Just like that. And now, the only real family that I have that's still around is Freddy and Golden Freddy. They're sort of like like brothers to me. They they're still all brothers but to me, but still. And then there's Wolf who I still play tricks on to this day. <laughs> and with a bind too, but still. <sighs> um, look kid, um I've been through what you have been through. Like you actually seem kind of luckier than me, then. Like, I never even knew my parents. But, it isn't good to have gone down that path. A path of vengeance. I hope that you've learned that that's not the right path to go down. You see, I was like that before. 
But when I killed Vortech, nothing changed. The loss of my best friend, it never left. I knew that taking life out of vengeance won't change anything. Cause in the end, you can't heal from loss. I appreciate your words, but you don't understand me. None of you do. You don't understand us. Look, I do. You're hurt. You're vengeful. You're lost. A little bit... That's not what he was talking about. You don't know what it's like to be like us. I do... Oh, I do know what it's like to be like you guys. Being so different from everyone else? No. No. Imagine just being normal, like having no powers and whatnot. Then getting taken from your home, experimented on, going through high levels of pain and torture, and then begging him at the top of your lungs to just have him kill you, begging to have the torture end. <laughs> you never experienced what we went through. None of you have. Look, Springtrap was the one who awakened, like, any of the Fazbear's powers, like, Freddy, Golden Freddy, the Shadow Twins, Springtrap helped unlock that power for them. No, 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 no. We weren't talking about that. Look, let me show you. <sighs> Alright, a little bit. Seeing anything out of the ordinary? Huh? Um, Steph, are you okay? Oh my god. Just look at that body. It's so hot. Um, I don't get it. Just look at him. Just look at that body. It's perfect! Steph, you don't consider... He's 16. Um... No, not really. Yes, exactly. Oh... Wait a minute, did you say that one of your foster parents, like, abused you? Yes. The, the scars are gone, but... But you see, some scars just never heal. Like, the pain go, goes away, but the memory of experiencing it doesn't. Every wound that I've suffered and healed from still haunts me. And sometimes, I would even rip chunks of my flesh off my arms. Just, just so I can experience feeling pain again. I just want to die. You think that I wanted this? Do you? Every time I wake up, I always feel different. Like, I don't feel like I'm even myself. <laughs> but don't get me started on how I got to this. <sighs> Two years ago, when Springtrap took me and my sis, took us down to his lair to be experimented on, seeing us as a, this perfect revenge plan for him. Like, all I remember was being feeling a pain in my neck as he injected a, a knockout gas into our necks. You see, the next thing, like, when I woke up, I wasn't wearing any clothes, and I was strapped to a metal bed, and I, my arms and legs were riddled with IV tubes. They were connected to a machine. I, I didn't know what was going on. I, my mind was just racing. I looked over to my left and I saw my sister, Toyo. The same thing was happening to her. I don't know what's going on. And I didn't know where I am and... 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 <laughs> I just wanted to die. <laughs> I didn't want this. I just want to kill myself. But I can't. Because every time I try, I can't. But if I did that, then my sisters will be all alone. And, and I didn't want that. I, uh, I, uh, 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 uh. Damn, I, I now feel kind of bad for him. Same. Look. 
look so me <laughs> kid. I'm so sorry I and to think you've gone through all of that and um Toy, are you alright? Like, you're the one who kind of relishes with having powers like that. Um, how do you feel? You know a little bit? To be honest with you, there's something I also must tell you. You see, even though I never wanted this, like, never wished for powers like these, I honestly just love having them. But look you too. Look at I can help you. <laughs> you... You can? For... Now that I regret not saving your parents now and... But I can help you. Like, if I can tell the Resistance commanders and I c can try and convince them to get you to help, then maybe I can help you, help you guys. Like... Like, I can take you two under my wing, and I can train you, and I can turn you two into forces of good. I can actually save you guys. I wasn't able to save you guys then, but maybe I can save you guys now. You... You can... Really do that? Yes, my best friend's the one of the commanders. I can easily convince him. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Albert. Yes. Alright, enough ch chattering. A little bit. Can you tell him to take off his shirt again? <laughs> You're welcome. I swear, this actually goes through if little bit is able to convince some otherwise. Like, if Lopit is right, either he's crazy or an absolute ch- Yeah! Lopit! Don't do that ever again! You nearly gave me a heart attack! Well, sorry, I just- Look, you might think I'm crazy or something, but you're able to convince them. Sort of. You see, I saw potential in those two. Potential to do good in the world. Use their powers for good, and not for their own pleasure. Listen to me. If I can, like, counsel them, give them the help that they need, then we could probably turn the tide of the war. But a little bit. Look, listen. Those two are hurting. They're broken. Hurt. Only lashing out at the world because they ig ignore their cries. But if we can help them, then they could be a force of good for the world. And you are the only guy that I know who I trust deeply that can help me. If you could convince the other commanders to let them me counsel them and get the help that they need and sort of mentor them and be a good father figure to them, then we can end the war. Look, I doubt that they'll listen to you, but do everything in your position of power to make them take my word and help them. You know a little bit? I might just take your word for it. That's good. A little bit's probably gonna get us all killed.